Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today I'm going to be giving you a camera walkthrough on the Galaxy Note 3. Now the Galaxy Note 3 is known for a lot of uh, really nice features, but the camera is definitely one of the biggest highlights. It has the same basic layout that we find on the Galaxy S4, uh, which is uh, you no longer have to toggle between the photo and video. You can just simply press photo or video. And when you do record a video, you can still take a photo while shooting the video. Also, you can pause it to keep one file or stop it to separate the files. Um, camera taking is very easily, obviously, and uh, very, very high quality. Um, you can see on our uh, layout right here, we can see the little scraps and uh, pieces that we can see. We can also, right from the screen, go to our simple filters. So the nice part about it is, let me put something on here so you can see, um, you actually get a visual of how each one will look like under each section. So it's pretty nice. Um, and I can see how this nice cleaning cloth that I got for free can look on any of these kind of sketches or styles. Of course, I could even do something as simple as fisheye, which a lot of people tend to like. And you can do any of these effects on both front-facing camera and rear-facing camera. Hey guys, oh, although on the front-facing camera, I had it on a mode, so it took the filter off. But you can see there's the fisheye, and there's the fisheye going the other way. So very simple and easy to use. Now, speaking of modes, all of your main shooting modes are right here. Uh, so in our modes, we can go over a couple of different ones. You have your automatic, which um, the nice thing about Samsung is they tell you what each of these modes do. So beauty face is a really great one that um, a lot of my friends would, uh, like to use, um, especially uh, even family members love to use it, where you can actually enhance a person's face and uh, essentially it does kind of a um, airbrush to it. So it's very nice and it can get rid of like acne, wrinkles, uh, scars, everything very nicely. You also have things like best faces which takes five consecutive photos to get the best group shots. So if you're like me and you have a lot of homegirls are like, no, take that again, do it over, do it over, delete that, delete that. You can now take five consecutive photos and each person can pick out their best face and put an end to the madness. Um, there's lots of fun ones, and again, each of these will tell you what they're for. Animated photos, one that I really like, you can actually get an animated photo that's the size of a regular photo in terms of file size, so it doesn't take up too much storage, but it's animated like a video. This, a good example would be um, in front of like a beach, instead of just taking a photo of you at the beach, you can have the waves crashing behind you while you're in front of a photo. Now, some of the new features on this one is golf swing. So if you are a golfer, this is a great one for you. Um, you have HDR mode, which takes um, different kinds of textures and tones for the shot. And uh, you even have the full 3D surround shot, which is nice, of course, as well. And all of your basics. Over here, you have the famous uh, dual shot uh, that Samsung has. So you can see the person taking the photo as well in the shot. Um, the only added feature to this is, um, of course, you can do different types and styles. You can move this around. You can resize it. Um, all fairly simple. However, um, the one that is new is um, glue. The idea behind glue is it would put you in a uh, stadium kind of setting. So this is really good when you have like a big screen. And uh, let me see if I can attempt to do this. So essentially the idea behind it is when you have a screen that hopefully, well, I don't think it will do it since the screen is so different, but basically it would attempt to glue it so that the screen and the shot would be a really nice fit to it. This one isn't going to do it too nicely, but it will basically uh, set it. 
This does work really nicely with the big screen. I've done it with my TV at home and it works nicely for that. Or this easy split screen. So on this side over here, we have a couple of different buttons. One is your flash where you can turn on, off, or auto. This one, which is uh, the best low light photo. So smart stability takes the best low light photos without ever needing a flash. This is really good for low light photos and uh, operates very well. You just do have to be uh, very steady when you take it, but the shots on this have been better than any low light uh, that I've tested, whether it be the HTC One, the iPhone 5S, uh, the Lumias, all of those, this is the best low light. Voice commands allow you to take photos or videos by saying those words, which I won't say because then I'll take a photo and your video modes normal limit to text message a lot of people ask me about this uh, that's how you limit it to text messages slow motion fast motion and smooth motion which is the best feature on this phone take a look at that video to check it out and all of your sharing capabilities last thing uh, if you hit the gear there is a couple of uh, things i would recommend doing one turning on burst mode Two, turning on face detection if that's not on. Uh, smart stability, you can have off, um, of course. Uh, you don't wanna have that on during the day outside. And for video, you do wanna have on video stabilization. Important thing to note for you uh, Instagrammers out there too, this is 16 by nine. If you do want to post Instagram photos, you want it in the 13 megapixel version at a four by three. And finally, the volume key. The volume key can be used for zooming, camera taking, or recording. So if I, um, now this is gonna be my photo taking capability, I can still zoom by going like this, and then taking the photo. All right, so that has been a brief camera walkthrough. If you have any questions on the camera that I didn't answer, feel free to ask. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.